This is a blast freezer built by Aqua Oyegua Refrigeration Company, AORC. We are powering this blast freezer with 100% free energy from the sun. Watch this video till the end and ensure to share this video. The days of depending on Nepa Grid, power and generator are over. We are powering this blast freezer with 100% free energy from the sun. Yes, you heard me right. 100% free energy from the sun. Let's get into the video and see how this works. All the components we used in this project are of the highest grade. The inverter is 12 kilowatts, three phase SRNE inverter, plus 16 units of 355 watts Jinko solar panels and 4 units of 12 volts 200 AH AGM batteries having a capacity of 9600 watts hours. This is a solar powered blast freezer built by Apple Oyegua Refrigeration Company AORC. Over here is the condensing unit of the highest grade. We have used the highest grade of, of components to construct this blast freezer. The temperature within the blast freezer is minus 6.3 degrees Celsius. We are approaching a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius. The size of the blast freezer is 8 feet in length, 8 feet wide and 8 feet in height. If you wish to measure in meters, it is 2.4 meters in length, 2.4 meters wide and 2.4 meters in height. Over here we have installed the inverter, the battery and the rest of the solar power system. This is, an, uh, this is uh, a petrol generator, it's an outdated system. We are doing away with the generator and we have upgraded to a solar power system. This is the inverter. It is of the highest grade. Is the brand is S R N E S R N E. For those who know, S R N E is one of the highest grade of inverters in the market. Over here we have the AGM batteries, very good for high starting current. Twenty four volts, two hundred AH with 9600 watt hour capacity this is the inverter running srne a great brand of inverter on this system <coughs> we have two mppt charge controller with a capacity of 260 amp charging current each right now you can see the sun just came out now we are getting 3.1 kilowatts. That is 3,100 watts power of energy from the sun. On the roof, we have a total of 16 panels of 355 watts each by Jinko. Jinko is a reputable solar panel manufacturer. So right now, if you look at the cold room out there, the total the total load capacity is about 900 watts to 1,000 watts. But right now, we are getting three times the the, the power of the cold room. So on the left side, we have the AC input and the inverter output. So this takes in the input from um, the grid or what we call NEPA into the inverter. The inverter converts that into DC energy, which is used to store the um, energy into the battery and at the same time, give power to the cold room of about 900 watts. So we can see now, I think the sun is picking up rapidly. We are getting 585 volts from the sun and the power right now we are getting 5.3 amps at um, 3.1 kilowatts from the sun that is a very good amount of energy pushing a, a current of 60 amps into the battery as we speak right now so we are getting a very very good output from the system so here is the control panel for the solar panels installed we have the circuit breaker and the source protector so here we have our changeover switch between the solar and, and the NEPA or grid. So this NEPA and, and grid, NEPA and generator is coming from right here. We can switch a, with any of these inputs to power the cold room 
and at the same time charge the batteries here we have our common points for the neutral and earth every equipment you see here are all properly installed we have we don't compromise on quality so we have to make sure this equipment is um, is protected in case of electrical fault this connection will drive the excess current away from the equipment to prevent damage and into the ground here is the grounding coming from from the from the soil itself and then we have a connection down there this is the three phase coming from nepa and the changeover switch here is an extra protection layer for the ac inputs also if there's a large current coming in is it you can actually disconnect it from the system so we have four units of 12 volts 200 amp hour meter dry cell battery here with a very high quality molded case circuit breaker which is used to protect this from uh, issues like short circuit and over current this is a solar powered blast freezer built by aqua oyegua refrigeration company it is eight feet in length eight feet wide and eight feet in height i'll be going in to see how well it is working as you can see this is of the highest grade using the best components to construct this blast freezer so i'll be switching on the light opening the door and let's see what's inside this blast freezer we have stored these um, we have stored water in this space to run a test so in a moment this water will be frozen in a short moment it's a solar powered blast freezer the evaporating unit is working perfectly we have used the highest grade of equipment of components to construct this blast freezer a solar powered blast freezer so you can also get in touch in touch with us on our website on our website you will find our price list on that price list you can decide which price is within your budget once you have seen the price that is within your budget you can then fill our quotation request form once we receive the quotation request form we will study the information you have sent then present you with an official quotation this is working as planned the temperature within this cold room this blast freezer is minus 4.3 degrees celsius we are approaching the temperature of minus 20 degrees celsius so at that point the water stored in this blast freezer will be frozen so these are the water pints we have stored here now let me go outside and see the control panel to read the temperature I'm closing the door going to the control panel to see the temperature at the moment it is minus 4.3 degrees Celsius in the cold room this is the condensing unit as a highest grade of condensing unit a pizza compressor no vibration no abnormal noise it is working perfectly it's a solar powered blast freezer the size is eight feet in length eight feet in height eight feet wide built by aqua oyegua refrigeration company ensure to share this video